Hi guys, join me as we get rid of clutter in our kitchen. I mentioned on my Facebook page recently that I was going to be starting a new series for the new year and each week, most likely, unless life gets a little crazy, we are going to work on one area of our home and get rid of all of the clutter. I need to do this because we are planning to move and I don't want to bring any extra things with me. I don't want to pack extra stuff and just stash it in my new home. So I am going to show you in one area at a time how I get rid of clutter, um, how I break it down so it's not overwhelming, and hopefully you can join with me and we can really get rid of clutter in our homes. I just wanted to mention a couple things in this video because it is the first one in the series. I am starting in the kitchen because I start my zone cleaning in my kitchen. So as I do my zone cleaning, I'm getting rid of clutter. So I'm not working in one area doing detail cleaning and then you know another area where I'm getting rid of clutter because that is just too much and too overwhelming. If you aren't familiar with zone cleaning, I'm going to put links to the videos below. I'll put a link to how I explain it just so I don't make this video any longer than it probably will be and I will also link the video in which I show all of the zone cleaning that I do in the kitchen and because I'm just going to be focusing on getting rid of clutter I will also link some videos that show how I organize my kitchen. I have a smaller kitchen so I give a lot of ideas about how to organize um, a small space in your kitchen so I'm going to link all of that below but we are going to touch all of the areas in our kitchen and get rid of all of the stuff in our cabinets, in our pantry, in our refrigerator, in our drawers, under our sink, everything that can accumulate, we are going to look over and get rid of. So let's get started. Today is Monday and I'm going to be doing my zone cleaning in my kitchen and I'm really going to concentrate on getting rid of anything in my kitchen, any clutter, anything that I don't want to take when we move and that will be my challenge for you as you um, clean out your refrigerator or pantry um, and as we go throughout the kitchen just really focus on getting rid of any extra things in there that you don't need. The first thing I'm going to do for my zone cleaning is wipe out my freezer and fridge and I haven't done anything to it. It's pretty empty because I am going to Trader Joe's in a few days so this is kind of perfect timing to clean everything out. And because I clean out my refrigerator and freezer regularly, there shouldn't really be much in here that I need to throw out. But if you haven't done a refrigerator or freezer cleaning in a while, um, you want to make sure that you're not only wiping everything out, but get rid of anything that is expired. So that is my challenge for you as you clean out your refrigerator. Just check any condiments um, and make sure they aren't expired. If you have things in your freezer, um, say you opened up a box of something and you tried it and no one in your family likes it but you feel bad for throwing it away, now is the time to just get rid of it. Um, you know, if no one's ever going to eat it, it's just taking up your space in your freezer or your refrigerator. So you can get clutter in your refrigerator and freezer and just make sure you clean it and get rid of anything that you never use. Okay, I cleaned out my fridge and freezer. I do need to go to the grocery store today and I'm also going to Trader Joe's soon so it's pretty empty. Um, but I got rid of the things that I don't need in here. So I know this is really exciting stuff here, um, but this is what I got rid of. Um, I need to throw out the cilantro, it's um, getting pretty bad. And then I had a lot of these Ziploc bags that I keep pizzas in um, when I do my freezer pizzas, and um, some of them are getting pretty gross. So I'm going to throw some of those away, um, just a little end of the cheese that is so small that you can't really grate it. and then. Um, some broken tortillas and I'm going to refill my bread flour and all-purpose flour and just a water bottle that no one will probably drink because it's already opened. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of this stuff and start it on my pantry. So Christian grabbed the parmesan and the water so those didn't go to waste. He loves parmesan cheese so he's going to eat that. Um, but I am going to work on my pantry now. I didn't do anything to it. I just opened the door and um, I'm going to wipe everything out and get rid of anything in here that I need to. So like I said, um, 
if you have food in your pantry that you aren't going to use, say you bought it and you guys don't like it, um, go ahead and get rid of that. If you keep things in your pantry, I know some people have a lot bigger pantry than they keep you know those random things you buy if it's just taking up space um, now would be a good time to donate it and get rid of anything that you don't need so yeah I'm going to clean this all out and get rid of anything in here that I don't need okay this is all clean and organized I really didn't get rid of anything I just refilled some of my canisters with bags of stuff that we have like flour and pasta and rice and everything I really need to redo my canisters I did these oh uh, let's see probably a year and a half or maybe even longer and some of my labels are starting to curl up but when we move, I'm going to have more room and I want to get a few more canisters for things. So I'm kind of writing notes to myself. Just a little tip, you know, as you're cleaning out your pantry, if you realize you need some containers or whatever to keep it better organized, um, just jot yourself a note. And that way, the next time you're at the store, you can purchase those. So it's all nice and clean. Also, as part of my zone cleaning, I am going to clean out this basket. I've explained this before, but I keep my phone and charger, pens and pencils, and um, different things in here. Sometimes I have notepads and stuff. Um, so I'm just going to clean this out. It's normally in the corner, but um, I wanted to make sure you could see it. So if you have a junk drawer where you keep pens and pencils and scissors, or if you have a little basket like I do, um, go ahead and get rid of all of the junk in there and get rid of the clutter that's taking up space. So that's straightened out. It really wasn't messy. I just had one little scrap of paper in there that I needed to throw away. For today I'm going to be working on my counters and inside my cupboards and drawers. So anything in my cabinets that I don't want to bring when I move or any dishes that we never use, Rubbermaid containers or Tupperware that do not have lids or that are really stained, I am going to get rid of. So that is the challenge for today. So I'm going to open up my cabinets and see what I find. Okay, when I clean or clean out my cabinets or anything, I always start in the same spot and work my way around. So just do one cabinet at a time and have a place to put things that you find in there and that way you're not creating more of a mess. So um, I'm going to be wiping them out because that's part of my zone cleaning. But as I find things that I want to get rid of, I am going to set them on the table and then depending on what I have and if it's breakable and stuff like that, I'll either put them in a box or a bag to donate. Um, but like I said, don't just start, you know, taking everything out of all of your cabinets and putting it all over your countertops because then you'll be irritated with me um, for having you do this. Um, so just work on one cabinet at a time. And like I said, I'm going to be doing my zone cleaning while I'm, um, you know, getting everything out. Okay, the first cabinet is wiped out. I didn't find anything in there. That literally took me about two minutes, and that's a plug for doing the zone cleaning. Um, if you just keep up on things like this, it really won't be totally overwhelming, and your cabinets won't be packed full of stuff that you never use. So I am just going to move on to the next cabinet. I do think there might be some stuff I might get rid of in here. And I am going to be switching out some things when we move. I plan to get new dishes um, because I actually need some new dishes. And I'm going to be changing out our color scheme. But I don't want to get rid of anything that I need to use right now. Okay, cabinet number two is all organized and straightened. Again, it only took me about two minutes. I do this on a regular basis, so there really wasn't a whole lot of stuff in here. This is what I did find, an embarrassing cookie sheet. I bought new cookie sheets, but I held on to my old ones because sometimes you do things and you know it's just going to make a big mess out of your cookie sheet. So I decided to keep one of my old ones that is plenty and I have two new ones and then I'm getting rid of a stained lid and a couple extra lids that I have no idea where the containers went um, and I'm going to move on to the next cabinet. Okay this is the before shot, not too bad. I know there are things in here that I will be getting rid of once I move and there might be a few things that I want to get rid of now. So. Again, I'm going to wipe it out and get rid of anything I don't want. Okay, cabinet number three is straightened out, and I did find a few things to get rid of in there. 
So I found a broken glass, um, probably from one of my kids putting back dishes, and then this little thing. And this picture I have had since we got married. It's the Princess House collection, which I used to love, but it's not really my style anymore, and I have not used it in years, so I am going to go ahead and donate that. And now we're on to this cabinet. This is um, under a couple of drawers here. Let's see what we have going on here. Um, I'm just going to straighten this out. I don't think there will be much that I'm going to get rid of in here, but I'm going to look through it and wipe it out anyway. So this cabinet is all straightened and organized, and I only found two lids in there that I must have gotten in a set. I don't have pans to go with them, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. Now I'm over above my stove and I have this cabinet. Now I, a long time ago, got rid of a lot of my cooking magazines and cookbooks and I keep very few, but I challenge you to really go through yours and only keep the ones that you actually use unless you like to collect them. You can find so many recipes online now. Um, so, you know, that really helps. But I used to have a ton and it filled up so much Space, but um, I probably won't get rid of um, any of the ones I have but I do have some things in here that I need to go through I know there are a couple of things that I definitely want to get rid of okay much neater and cleaner and I did find a few things in there also um, as you're going through if you keep your spices in a cabinet just go through those and get rid of anything that's really old that you never ever use and just get rid of any clutter in there. Um, you know, a lot of times we keep things because we spent money on them, but if it's just taking up space and you're never going to use it, you might as well get rid of it. So even though I get rid of things on a regular basis, I still found some things that I need to get rid of, so my pile's getting a little bit bigger. I bought a new loaf pan recently, and I didn't get rid of my old one, but this one is looking pretty gross so I'm going to get rid of that and I have a replacement I decided to take these um, booklets out of my cabinet because they're starting to get curled up and everything and I don't have a good place to keep them they keep sliding down when I get my recipe book out and getting smashed and everything so I am going to put these in my um, file folder for now and then maybe when I move I'll have a better spot for them and I am going to set this pizza cookbook free I haven't looked in it in over a year and I just kind of got it on a whim and I'm going to get rid of it I've been holding on to this it's um, a recipe book that I created for an organization that I was um, part of like a chairperson type of thing and I kept it because, you know, it was kind of a keepsake, but it is getting totally mashed and everything, and I never look at it, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out. Okay, and then I have this cabinet here, and this tends to be, like, the cabinet where I just put the bigger things in because they don't fit anywhere else, and I know for sure there are things that I don't want to take with me when I move, so I'm going to wipe that out and get rid of some of the things in there. And this is the last cabinet, and then I'm going to move on to the drawers. Okay, that cabinet is nice and neat and cleaned out, and I did find a few things in there to get rid of. Okay, so in there I found this vase. Um, it came with flowers that I got, and I really don't ever use it, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I've had this huge platter for a while now, and it does have a chip in it somewhere. Um, so I'm going to get rid of it because I really don't use it. It takes up a lot of room. And I'm going to be changing my color scheme when we move. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that as well. And then also in that cabinet, I had my canister with rice in it that I put up there when I had my Christmas decor out. And um, I put it back on the counter. And I'm going to put my fruit bowl back on my table once I get rid of all of the stuff that's on it now. <laughs> And now it's time to clean out the drawers. I just have these two small drawers and so many things have to fit in there and this gets messy. My boys unload the dishwasher in. Um, they do their best, but you know, they're not going to put it back exactly the way mom wants it. Um, so I need to clean out this and get rid of anything that I never use. There might be something in there and there might not be. I try to go through it regularly. And I just have these small drawers and um, 
a utensil holder won't even fit in there so there has to be a lot of stuff in one drawer so it is very hard to keep organized so the less stuff the better these are clean and as neat as they are going to get with having a small drawer I found a couple things I have this um, zester and I never use it I usually use a vegetable peeler or my microplane um, so this is just sitting in there and I never use it. This is a meat thermometer and it's actually broken. It doesn't register correctly so I'm going to get rid of that. And then I finally decided to just get rid of these tips for decorating cakes. I am just not good at it. Okay, so this is what I have to put away and everything for today. I have these books I'm going to put in my file folders. I have this section here all of this is going to be donated so I need to get a box to put all of that in and then this is stuff that I'm going to throw away I don't think anyone would want this so I think I'm just going to throw all of that stuff away now I did want to point out I'm trying to break this up into days for you guys but I'm also doing my zone cleaning so if you follow along with the zone cleaning um, you can you know do it along with me I'm also going to be wiping down everything on my kitchen counter and I don't have a lot of clutter on my counter because I have a really small counter and I would never be able to cook if I had a bunch of stuff on there plus I don't like clutter anyway but I was kind of thinking um, what you could do if you're just working on getting rid of clutter tomorrow I have these things here to do and I won't really be getting rid of any clutter if it's too much to clean out your cabinets and your drawers and your countertops um, you could do that tomorrow on Wednesday and just kind of break it up whatever is easiest for you I'm just kind of showing you how I break it up but I don't want you to feel overwhelmed at all so I'm going to continue working on my zone, which means I'm going to wipe down everything on my countertops. Now, like I said, if you have a lot of stuff on your countertops, now would be a great time to clean that up. If you want to wait and do it on Wednesday, if you're trying to divide it up through the week, um, work on that. If you have piles of papers or bills or whatever, make sure you have a designated spot for them instead of just putting them on the countertop and use that day to really go through anything that's on the countertop and put it away and start throwing away stuff that you do not need that's just taking up your precious counter space. At least my counter space is precious. I only have a little bit. <laughs> Today is Thursday and I'm moving on with my zone cleaning. I didn't film anything yesterday because I didn't do any decluttering, but I did do the cleaning. And like I said, you can break it up however you want. If you thought um, what I did on Monday was a little bit too much for you, you could break it up and use Wednesday to get some of those things done. So I am going to be doing some cleaning and I'm also going to clean out under my sink and my cleaning supply box and I'll show you that in a minute. And I also have on my list to wash my placemats. I actually got rid of some of my table linens that were, you know, not in too great of shape and I plan to, you know, do a different color scheme when we move so I will replace those. Um, but if you look through your table linens, um, make sure you get rid of anything you don't use, anything that is in poor shape, and um, declutter that area as well. I have my hot pads here and I did wash these the other day and I held on to this one to <laughs> show you what I mean. Um, this one is really stained and I don't really use it. I think this came in a pack with something from the dollar store or something. Um, so I'm going to throw this out and I'm going to hold on to these. Um, I will be changing these out once we move. But sometimes we really have a lot of these um, because you get them for whatever. and. Go through yours and see if you have way too many, if they're just taking up space or if they're really stained or starting to fray and things like that and get rid of that because that can take up a lot of room and become clutter as well. I also wanted to challenge you to go through your dish towels and dish rags. You most likely keep them in your kitchen. I don't have a drawer in my kitchen to keep mine, so I keep them on a shelf in my linen closet, which is right outside my kitchen. But just go through and, you know, maybe you could transfer some of your dish towels that you use that are in pretty poor shape um, and use those as cleaning cloths. Just keep them in a separate 
basket or a separate place, it's easy for me to figure out ones that are for cleaning. I have some over here that are kind of ratty. Um, I just kind of know what they look like and I keep them in a separate uh, stack. When I move, I'll probably do something different with this. Um, maybe keep them in a basket or in a drawer in my kitchen. Um, so as far as organizing, um, this just works for me right now. And I do have a lot more. They're actually in the washer. I usually have a huge stack of dish towels and a pretty good size stack of dish rags. But my challenge for you is to go through yours and get rid of things that are really stained. Um, now would be a great time to replace them if you want to. Okay, this is under my kitchen sink and I haven't done anything. Um, usually I keep all my cleaning supplies in this basket and garbage bags and dishwasher um, detergent and all of that stuff. And then I have another bin back there for extra cleaners that I buy um, just to keep those separate from what I use. So I am going to go through here and clean it out and then I'm also going to get rid of anything that I don't need. That is all straightened up in there. I didn't find a whole lot, but I, sh I will show you what I plan to get rid of. Um, but that way I can easily access the cleaners that I do want to use and it's not all, you know, jumbled up with stuff that I never use. Okay, this is what I found under my kitchen sink that I need to get rid of. I have an extra pair of gloves. I'm going to put these in the laundry room because I need to replace the ones down there. I did have a random glove that I need to throw away because it doesn't have a match. And I'm going to throw this brush away. I just used it to clean something that was pretty grimy and I don't want to um, use it to clean my shower now. So I'll just get a new one at the Dollar Tree. And then this goes on the inside of the dishwasher like the little thing that holds the rinse aid in so I'll put that back and then I just need to refill some of my cleaners um, when I get some supplies I need to get some more vinegar at the grocery store so I'm just going to write a note to myself to do that and then I have some furniture polish that I made and I need to figure out the recipe so I can share it with you guys I've been asked about this I kind of just a bunch of stuff in there um, but I need to get some more supplies to make that anyway so I will just um, write myself a note for those